How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, you head. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb? An old private eye. I need you to find someone, but it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long? Hey, Dino! Quit razzing that detective and get down here! Where the heck is he? What the... Hey, something's out there. There.
Hard and loud, huh? Well, here's the job. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Only opens with a key. Nick. I know you have a case you want solved, but underground and surrounded is not the best place to talk. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? 
Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here, fast. One. Two. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You said Diamond City, right? Yeah, you know the way? Southwest a few blocks. My office is in the back alleys, with the neon heart sign out front. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community, we're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm not looking for a sales pitch. A sales pitch is the last thing I would ever give you. I'm not selling anything, neighbor. I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. Giving them away! What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. 
I have some questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything, except have a willing spirit and open your heart to the possibilities. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What if I change my mind after I join? There's absolutely no obligation, but trust me, once you see how your life is transformed, you won't want to leave. Believe it or not, we have never had a single pillar leave after joining. There's not many groups like ours that could make that claim, are there? Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? I don't have any more questions. Good. You owe it to yourself. And I hope you're ready to take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Yes, I am. All right then. Fantastic. You won't regret it, I promise you. We haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. Don't worry, I don't bite. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Right this way, neighbor. Alrighty, I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. Uh, call me paranoid, but this screams trap. You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small, temporary sacrifice? I've changed my mind. I don't want to join after all. No, sorry. I'm afraid we're past that point. You really do need to give me everything. Now. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. That's what you want! Help. Here's a threat! Ready for the Oh. Mm. 
Sweet. in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Radiation poison. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Hey, Doc. Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small vice. A quick drink after work. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends. Can you save Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery, at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat, make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. 
I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks. And arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way? I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Look alive. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find... I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. The nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind.
place seem small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Yeah, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Telling you something's not well. That's one way to hide a room. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking aside, but what about dog meat? A commonwealth mutt like him can track a man sent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him, or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? But then the next issue, just to wait. Get the feeling we're being watched. Hey! I told you to bring him in for the basement! Man, you did the wrong fight.
Got it. Lost the scent boy? No. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco sunlight. Dog meat find something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. Look alive. Go on. Over here. Done and done. Stay there. I'll stay put. Move here. Good plan. Hey, Valentine. There's something bothering you? I think we ought to part ways, Nick. Sure. Suppose I'll head on home then. <laughs> I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. What is it, boy? What are we looking for?
bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him.
Decoy, huh? Clever. Exercise extreme caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons what have immediately. We here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. think boy was this our man
we gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? <laughs> <laughs> 